Hey guys, good afternoon. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? Tell me. Hello, teacher. Good Hello. afternoon. Thank you. How are you, Tommy? How are you today? I'm great, and you? Awesome. Doing well, thank you. Well, I can see Damaris, Daniela, Felix, Marvin, Linda Abigail, very good. Ana Maria, Ana Stephanie, Carmen, very good. Okay, okay. We're going to start with the class, it's one o'clock, and I will start passing the attendance. Just give me a second. I will, you know, mark the people that I can see right now. Ana Maria, Ana Stephanie, Carmen, Cecilia Maris, Yella, Felix, Glenda Vigail, and Marvin right now. Present okay. teacher, good afternoon. Thank you, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Awesome, thank you. Okay, we're going to start with the class. This is class number 11. As you can see, we're advancing right and we're about to finish. Of course, we're missing you know, more classes. Uh, but yeah, we're getting to the final you know, uh, result, right? The final thing. This is, oh, let me just the my screen, well, I, I can see more participants. Welcome, Alma. I can see Abder, Ana Lenora, good afternoon. Hi, guys. Suleyma, good afternoon. Thank you, how are you? Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good. Awesome. Okay, are you ready to pass attendance? I'm going to mark your, you know, your, I will put your attendance in the list. Abner, Alinora, see, si. yeah, Alma. I can see Esmeralda. Hello, Esmeralda. Good afternoon. Hi, hello. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, how's it going? I'm fine. Awesome. Here. Yeah. In Suleyma. Okay. How are you? Let me display the, the, the screen. This is class number 11. Well, any questions before we begin with the class, right? You know, with the platform? No. Preguntas con respecto a la plataforma? Hemos iniciado, hemos avanzado con la sección 4. Yes, no? Yes. Awesome. Excellent. Así es que hagan sus preguntas, ¿verdad? Hacer preguntas. Y sigamos, ¿verdad? Hay que seguir avanzando. Estamos ya en la sección 4. Hay que ir avanzando, avanzando, avanzando. Recuerden que pues, mañana terminaremos ¿verdad? la semana, semana 3. Y al próximo, la próxima semana, el próximo lunes, sería la última semana. Así que hay que ir completando. Eh, la sección 4, ah, creo que la mayoría estamos ya en la misma sintonía, es decir, eh, ya completamos las primeras tres secciones, ya hemos iniciado la sección 4, así es que hay que seguir, hay que seguir ese proceso completando, practicando, eh, cualquier duda o consulta, verdad, háganmelo saber, con gusto. Eh, hola, que sí, Fayola, Roger, hello guys, good afternoon. 
Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good, thank you too. I can see Andrea too. Hi, Andrea, good afternoon. Hi. Hi, how are you? Great. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlos, Roger, good afternoon, how are you? Hi, Mister. All right. Hi. Good. Good. Awesome. Okay, I can see Carlos. Yeah, Asael, Jose, Alejandra is joining too. I'm passing the attendance, right? I'm passing the attendance. Estamos pasando la la asistencia ahorita. Bueno, ya la pasé. De hecho, estoy ahorita incluyendo los que se acaban de de unir. Alejandra. Hello. Carlos. Hello. How are you? Teacher. Hi. Teacher. One yeah. question. Eh, me acaban de llamar de eh, English Corporativo porque dicen que yo ayer no me conecté. Mm. Y yo estuve en clase, ¿se recuerda? Déjeme revisar porque sí la puse en lista. Sí, pero me llamaron y me preguntaron si por qué razón yo no había entrado a clase. Entonces no sé si ellos se equivocaron o ustedes no puso asistencia. Cómo no, si está en asistencia. Si yo llevo el control en, en Excel, ¿verdad? Lo llevo aparte. Si se han fijado. Y, y yo lo, 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 lo paso a, al control de asistencia, ¿verdad? Que, que el nativo ha creado. Está en el Drive. Entonces, sí le he agregado yo. Le he agregado. Probablemente sí. se, 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 se confundieran, ¿verdad? Quizás llamaron a usted por llamarle a alguien más. Igual, bueno, ah, sí. okay. usted coméntele que ha estado en clase, ¿verdad? Coméntele que, que estuvo presente porque, repito, yo acá voy pasando ¿verdad? los datos en el control de asistencia y acá pues lo tengo cabal, ¿verdad? Igual me pasó a mí, dicha, me llamaron y me dijeron sobre eso, pero yo le dije a ella que sí, que había estado el día de ayer. Me dijeron que... Aquí no iba a comer usted. Sí, ah, sí. Bueno. Sí, eso es, lo, eso es lo que pasa, ¿verdad? Eh, no se preocupen, ¿verdad? Ustedes saben que son varios grupos y, y ¿verdad? Los encargados están ellos, ¿verdad? Llevando ese control, probablemente hay equivocaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, igual, ustedes comentenle con seguridad que han estado en clase. ¿no? Yo estoy pasando, repito, la asistencia. Good afternoon. ¿Verdad? Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Pas Hello, how are you? How are you, hi fi Good. Thank you. Bueno, estoy, eh, ¿verdad?, rellenando acá la, la lista, ¿verdad?, los que se acaban de leer. Vamos a él. Hola, vamos a él. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Awesome. Bueno, veo por acá también a... a los que estoy agregando, los que se acaban de leer. Pero eso es muy importante, ¿verdad?, muy importante... Eh, al inicio y al final también, ¿verdad? Yo siempre me, me verifico que al inicio y fin de que todos se estén, ¿verdad? Analiza. Eh, también a José, no le ha agregado. Hola, José. ¿Qué Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good. Good, good. Thank you. Okie dokie, porque estamos todos. Voy a mencionar nuevamente los que no he pues analiza, por eso que se me ha escapado. Permítanme. No olvidemos, please, utilizar nuestra camarita. Ok, repito lo que no no he puesto en lista, ¿verdad? Celia, o sea, por acá. Cintia, Edilberto, Gerson, por acá todavía. Veo a Glenda y Nora. Hello, Glenda. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. Bueno, entonces solo nos quedamos pendientes con con Gerson, ¿verdad? No sé, lo veo por acá todavía. Y, y Celia. Una sonrisa. Ok. Perfecto, ya todos están en lista. Bueno, eh, así es que 
¿verdad? Cualquier cosita, si le llaman, ¿verdad? A veces igual les caen recordatorios a, a ustedes, ¿verdad? De forma personal, eh, a su WhatsApp, en el cual se les hace, ¿verdad? Vale la redundancia el, el, ese recordatorio para que ustedes, ¿verdad? Vayan avanzando en la plataforma. No se vayan, a, ¿verdad? Probablemente a sorprender si ven que les envían un mensaje y, y dice de que, ¿verdad? Eh, todavía no han terminado tal sección y probablemente ya lo terminaron, ¿verdad? Por decirles un caso, ¿verdad? Eh, si son así, eh, esa situación es verdad, ¿verdad? Si hemos completado hasta donde se nos ha dicho, eh, hagamos caso mismo, ¿verdad? No se preocupen. Esos mensajes se van creando automáticamente, ¿verdad? Se les envía a cada uno de ustedes para hacer ese recordatorio. Cuando reciban mensajes así, no se alarmen, no se sorprendan. Es solamente recordatorio. Igual con, cuando le llamen, ¿verdad? Y le sigan, como en el caso de Alejandra, ¿verdad? Y como sucedió con la otra compañera. Cuando les llamen y les digan, mira, no estuvo presente en clase, ¿qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? Eh, y ustedes han estado, ¿verdad? Solo confirmen, ¿verdad? Seguro, digan, si sí estuve. Ahí, ¿verdad? Yo voy a estar pendiente. Probablemente, ¿verdad? O sea, se me haya pasado a mí, se me ha ido error. Pero ya estuve aquí verificando, ¿verdad? Con bueno, respecto a la clase de ayer, la asistencia. Y Alejandro, si es, está. No se preocupe. Excelente. Bueno, si no hay preguntas, más preguntas con respecto a la plataforma, el curso, etcétera, vamos a iniciar. Today is Wednesday, February 9. This is class number 11. The topic for today is the pressing continuance. Let's begin with the pressing continuance. Okay. Eh, bueno, es solamente, ¿verdad? Hacer el recordatorio para los que se acaban de unir, eh, invitarles a seguir, ¿verdad? Eh, completando la plataforma, estamos ya en la sección 4, para que todos estemos en sintonía, ¿verdad? Sección 4, vayamos avanzando, recuerden que mañana ¿verdad? es el último día para, para la semana, tercera semana, no sería falta una semana, ¿verdad? Que sería la próxima, eso sería la cuarta semana y la última. Que eh, ya esa semana debe estar completa la sección 4, ¿verdad? Eh, a más tardar, ¿verdad? Viernes, probablemente fin de semana, ¿verdad? Que sean eh, algunos, ¿verdad? Ocupados, etcétera. Pero de una manera, ¿verdad? Que se complete lo antes posible. Y el lunes iniciaríamos con la última sección. Esos serían los recordatorios para que ustedes sigan trabajando, ¿verdad? Y practicando. Es que eh, van a disculpar, ¿verdad? Que mencione tanto lo mismo, ¿verdad? El conocimiento de la plataforma, secciones y cada uno de esos, pero es nuestro, ¿verdad? Trabajo. Nuestro, es parte de nuestras eh, las indicaciones que debemos de transmitir para cada uno de ustedes para que no se les olvide, digamos ahí, ¿verdad? Ese proceso para completar y no tener ningún inconveniente, ¿verdad? Y después no digan, el dicho no nos decía nada, no, no, no nos recordaba nada. Así es que me gusta mejor mencionarlo siempre, aunque diga lo mismo, lo mismo, lo mismo, pero para que ustedes, ¿verdad?, completen y no tengan ningún inconveniente al final. Así es que, igual está siendo grabado, ¿verdad? Y, no me pueden decir después, pues no me dijo nada. Eh, sí se los menciono. No sé si hay comentarios, dudas. No. Excelente. No, 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 teacher. Okay. Good. Well, let's, let's start. Pressing continues. The pressing continues. Uh, or we can call it like present progressive. It's the same, right? Present continuous, present progressive, right? You will see this uh, topic right in, in different parts, like present progressive or present continuous. It's the same, the same. Let's begin. Okay, first let's define or let's express when we use the present continuous. When do we use it? Well, we use the present continuous to talk about actions that are ha happening or are in progress now, right? We use present continuous to talk about actions that are in progress or happening now. Now, for example, I am explaining the present 
pressing continuous pens to you right now. So this action is in progress because it's happening now, now. So I am explaining the present continuous tense to you right now, right? So that action is in progress. Another example, it can be you guys, all of you, all of you, all of you are paying attention to the class. Again, this action is happening now. Right? So two different actions, right? Two different actions. I am explaining the present continuous to you right now. And you are paying attention to the class. Right? So you're listening. You're not checking your Facebook, your Instagram right now, right? I believe so. I hope so. I hope so. So I know that you're attentive, right? You're paying attention to the class. Okay? So those are actions in progress or actions that are happening now. Okay? Let's see the way we structure pressing continuous. We will see today two forms, right? Affirmative and negative forms. When you have sentences in affirmative, you follow this formula. We use subject plus verbi. The verbi, remember, we're talking about the present. We need to say am, um, are, or is. Am, um, are, or is. Whatever, you know, whatever form, you use depending on the subject, right? Subject plus verbi, am, um, or is. Plus, we use another verb, which is in the ing form. The verb is in ing form. The verb is in ing form, right? Look, subject, the first thing, right? Subject, I. Verb, I'm um, in this case, right? Because I say I am, you are. He is, she is. It is, we are, they are, right? So in this case, the verb B is am, um, right? Then the verb in ing, right? The verb in ing form. The verb, the verb here is explain, right? Explain. But you have to use it in ing. So you have to say explain it. That's why the verb is in ing. In the present continuous, in the present continuous. And then we have the complement. So the complement is the present continues to you right now. All that is a complement. All that is a complement. Okay. Right now is a time expression. Right now is a time expression. Right now, time expression. Time expression for uh, the present continuous specifically. Present continuous. I will give you, you know, some some uh, time expressions. Another example. I am talking right now, right? I am talking right now. That is happening now. I am talking right now, right? I am explaining. That is another action. I'm talking and explaining right now, right? I am explaining. You are listening to the class now. Okay, you're listening to me. You're listening to my explanations, right? You're listening. You are listening to the class now. Those are actions in progress. In progress. Okay, questions so far? No question. You? No. Somebody else? That is the way. That is the way. Subject, 
for B, am or or is, ver in I and G, and the complement. Yeah, Ana Stephanie, all of them, all of them. All the verse after the verb B, that we had the verb, right? And that verb is an ing form. The second verb, right? The verb that is after the verb B, it is always in ing form. That's what we say, right? I am talking, I am explaining, you are listening. Marvin is paying attention, right? Paying, paying attention. If and Stephanie is asking a question, right? Asking, asking. So, you know, that is the way, that is the way you form the verse in ING, right? For example, we have the following verse, talk, explain, listen, ask, pay attention. So you say talking, say explaining, Say listening, asking, and you say pay, paying attention. So all the verbs are in IG. Yes, all of them. All of them. Remember, with the affirmative form, we can see here, right, more forms. Verse in IG, we say go, play, work, and listen. With the ing, sorry, we say going, playing, working, and listening. This is because we use the, the verse in, in that form in the present continuous. The present continuous. And remember that as we saw in the first, in the previous classes, you can use contractions, right? With the, the subject and the verb be, right? So you can say am. Um, then equals, sorry, I am, right? He is equals, he is, right? Yeah, he is equals, if your equals aren't. So you can use contractors. You can say, I'm talking to you guys. I'm talking to you guys. Or I'm explaining this topic to you. Or you can say, your listening to the class now, okay? This is the affirmative way. This is the affirmative way. For example, in, I can say, right? Let me see. See, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you. Well, maybe I can say, right? Jose is thinking. Jose is thinking, right? Jose is thinking. That is an action. Imperious, right? Imperious. Jose is thinking. Okay. Jose is thinking. Or I can say, Linda is taking notes. Taking notes, right? So you're copy, you're copying, or you see here, right? You're copying in your novel, right? So Glenda is taking notes, for example. Imagine those equations now, right? Imaginemos esas acciones ahorita, ¿verdad? Que están sucediendo. Okay? This is the affirmative way. This is the affirmative way. Can you give me some examples? You know, the actions that are happening now. No, yeah, my, my brother is sleeping. I'm sorry. My brother is sleeping. Sleeping, okay, good. Very good. I like it. You know, Fabiola is taking into account the the context, right? The context that she has, right? We know that. Well, I think most of you are at home, right? At home. So your your family members. Family members are doing different actions, right? As Fabiola said, my brother is sleeping, right? So that is an action in progress because right now he is sleeping, right? He is taking a nap. Very good. Another example. I am drinking. 
Really okay. Famous. Okay. Right so, now. Water, right? Water. I believe water. Yep. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very good. Marvin is drinking water right now. Good. That is another action. Oh, and Stephanie said, I am dancing. Really? Right now, Stephanie? I am dancing. Stephanie is dancing, okay? Is okay, very good. Remember, actions in progress, right? Actions in progress. <laughs> I am I am listening audiobooks every day. Hmm, okay. But in that case, it's different, Fayola, because that is a, a routine. That is a routine. So you have to say, I listen to, you say audiobooks, right? Audiobooks every day. This is different because this is the simple present. Simple present. That is a routine. That is a routine. Esa sería la diferencia en el presente continuo con el presente simple, ¿verdad? Más adelante vamos a ir viendo el presente simple. Esos son los primeros tiempos verbales que se mira. Presente simple, bueno, vimos primero el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Presente. Ahora nos trasladamos al presente continuo. Y luego, pues, muchas veces iniciamos con el presente simple y después con el presente continuo. O viceversa, ¿verdad? Ya con el presente continuo, eh, luego nos vamos con el presente simple y... ¿verdad? Son tiempos verbales diferentes. ¿Por qué? You can say. I am listening to the class now. This is the present continuous. Solo quiero hacer la comparación, ¿verdad? No me voy a detener con, con el presente simple ahorita porque no vamos a ver más adelante. No los quiero confundir. Solo para que vean, ¿verdad? La diferencia. Action in progress. And this is a daily routine. You say, I am listening to the class now. So it's happening now in this context. We are in class, right? And we're having, you know, people surrounding us. And we know that, you know, they are doing different activities, right? Family members, for example. Your mother is doing something. Your brother or sister is doing another activity. You are, you're right, paying attention to the class, listening to the class now, right? So that is the present continuous. The simple present, Fayola and everybody is different, right? Because you express routines, things that you do, right? Regularly, regularly. So in that case, Fayola, you say, I listen to all the books every day. So that is something that happens, right? Every day, daily. <laughs> Por mí tiene esa pensión. Sí, que so, tal vez aquí. Tenía la pensión la pensión. Lo que pasa es que como antes, 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 este, porque utilizábamos solo como que cuando era así, los verbos, todo se trataba y se, eh, con ING. Y este, y como que uno puede utilizar como que le, le ponen como toda la estructura en una sola oración. Entonces, quizás por eso me pongo. Ya, yeah. ya, yeah. entiendo. Más adelante vamos a ir viendo, ¿verdad? Porque eh, hay, hay, hay tiempos verbales que tienen diferentes usos. ¿A, a qué me refiero? Por ejemplo, el presente continuo, no solamente lo utilizamos para, para mencionar acciones que están ocurriendo ahorita, que están pasando ahorita, ¿verdad? Están en progreso. También el presente continuo se utiliza para otros, ¿verdad? Otras formas. Por ejemplo, el presente continuo lo podemos utilizar para planes de futuro. Pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Porque eso nos estamos enfocando en acciones que están ocurriendo ahorita, que están pasando ahorita. ¿verdad? Y el presente simple, ¿verdad? Ya esa parte. Igual, el presente simple, ¿verdad? Utilizamos más que todo para eso, ¿verdad? Hay routines. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Esa es la diferencia. Excelente chat. Otro ejemplo, um, I am working. Um, I am working. Excuse me, can you repeat again? Can you speak louder? I am working now. Yeah, that one is that one is correct. That one is correct. I'm working now. Yeah. This one is correct. 
Most of the times, again, we use some expressions, right? Utilizamos expresiones de tiempo. Now, that's for present continuous. That's for present continuous. That is correct, Joyela. That one is correct. Obviamente, verdad, acá hay que imaginarnos, verdad, diferentes situaciones, verdad? Diferentes situaciones. Eh, los contextos. ¿Qué está pasando ahorita en mi alrededor? ¿verdad? En clase, en mi casa, por ejemplo, eh, en mi trabajo, sé que están en el trabajo, sé que algunos están en el trabajo. Eh, it could be correct, right? I'm working now because that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Eh, let me see, I have more examples in the chat. You are fixing, hmm, Abner, you're fixing a car now, it could be, right? You are fixing, let's say a car at the moment, right? Imagine that, you know, someone is fixing a car at the moment, right? You are fixing the car or a car at the moment. Yes. Uh, let me see. Julio, Carlos Julio is driving his car. Yeah, very good. Very good. Eso, eso es, es bueno, ¿verdad? Imagino que Julio is your friend. Carlos, I believe so. Eh, y Carlos está consciente, ¿verdad? De que Julio está manejando ahorita. Julio is driving a car. Driving his car. Very good. Can I say my daughter is watching a video? Good. My daughter is watching a video. Great. Andrea says she is jumping the, in the bed. Yeah, very good. She is jumping the bed. You know, so right now you have to look at your context, right? Your environment, the people that are surrounding you, right? Your brother, sister, mother, father, and look at the activities that they are doing, right? For example, in my case, I can say, right, I am talking. I am talking now. Maybe I can say my mother is having lunch, right? My mother is having lunch. Now, now, okay? That is the way. This is affirmative. This is affirmative. Any questions again, by the way, sorry. Questions? Tell me. Thank you, Sophie. Yo tengo una, yo tengo una gran duda, pero está fuera del tema. Este también nos va a enseñar cómo utilizar el, el verbo get. El verbo. Get. Get. Hmm. Yeah, if you know. I'm not sure, I think in this module, we don't see it, right? Or maybe with the present simple, it can be, you know, included. Con el presente simple, cuando empezamos a verlo, ¿verdad? Ahí lo podemos agregar, ¿verdad? Pero creo que lo, lo, lo empezamos a ver el presente simple en ese módulo. Eh, si no, vamos a ver en el próximo, ¿verdad? Pero sí se, se puede mencionar, ¿verdad? El verbo get. Ya, yeah. porque se utiliza, ¿verdad? Okay, with the negative form, thank you for asking, Puebla. With the negative form, you know, we follow the same formula, right? But we just include something else. We have the subject, plus verb B again, um, or, or is, and we include after the verb B, not. Not, plus, again, the verb 9G, and at the end, we have the complement, right? That's the way. That's the way. For example, listen, take into account the context, right? We are in a class. I'm not playing video games right now, right? Can you see that I'm playing video games? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, really? really? Am, I, am I playing video games right now? Right now, no. No, right? Okay, no. No, I'm not playing video games because I'm in class. All right, so I'm delivering a class. 
my case, I'm delivering a class. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Look at me, right? And take into account the context. I'm not playing video games. I'm delivering a class, right? I'm delivering a class to you guys. And I know that's in the chat. My sister is cooking, good. She's cooking, why? Because Anadinora is, can see, right? Anadinora can see that her sister is cooking, right? Very good. What is in progress? I'm not playing video games. I'm delivering a class. I'm explaining. I'm talking, right? Another example, but well, we have the contractions, remember. I'm not equals, I am not. He isn't equals, he is not. They aren't equals, they are not. You can use contraction. I'm using a contraction over here, right? I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not. I am not, not. I'm not playing video games. Another example. Kevin, right? Kevin is my friend, right? Kevin isn't watching videos. Kevin isn't watching videos. Why? Because Kevin is working. Kevin is working now. Right? Kevin is my amigo, right? He is working. He is working now. Now. Another example, Mercedes isn't checking herself now. Right. What I can say, right? I can say, let me see. Daniela is not checking herself, right? She is paying attention. You can see it, Daniela, right? You can see Daniela. Daniela isn't checking herself now. She is listening to the class, right? Listening to the class, right? That is the way. That's where we use the negative form with the present continuous. Any doubts? or interrogations. Tell me, tell me some actions that are not happening now, right? About you, about your family members. For example, let me begin. I'm going to write an example in the chat. I will say my mother is not watching TV now. Please give me some examples in the chat in negative. My mother is not or isn't watching TV now, give me some examples. Give me some examples. Write an example in the chat, please. Write an example in the chat in negative with the present continuous. Look at your, you know, your Teacher. house. Yeah, tell me. Sorry. Eh, la oración que nos acaba de decir es de I am delivery in class eh, está en presente continuo. Yes, yes. Okay. Because the verb is deliver, okay. deliver, and you say delivery. Okay. Nine G. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. This is this is happening, right? This is happening. I am delivering a class because I'm doing that. In my case, I'm doing that. I'm delivering a class. And in your cases, your you're taking a class, right? Taking a class. Let's be more specific. You're taking an English class. So that's about you. In my case, I'm delivering a class, right? And in your case, in your cases, you're taking an English class. Me escuchan bien? Yes, yes. un bajón ahorita de luz acá en mi casa. La zona. Entonces pensé que se había perdido algo la conexión. Háganme saber si no me escuchan bien. Please. Okay, Ana Maria said, my mother is not doing the laundry. Yes, she is working right now. Good. That's awesome. That is the way, Ana Maria. Very good. A laundry, Ana Maria, is like this. You're missing an, an A. That's a part of My brother isn't working. I'll say, very good. Very good. Another example. In negative, right? And you can contrast. You can contrast as Maria did. Pueden hacer ese contraste, ¿verdad? Como lo hizo Maria, Ana Maria. My mother is not doing the laundry. She is working right now. Very good. Okay, Andrea said, Diana isn't eating now. Good. 
Porque la semana está reading right now. She is with the doctor now. Okay. Yeah. Good. Carlos we're not playing video games. Yeah. Good. Good. Just remember, Carlos, not. Like this, not. We're not. We are not. Exactly. Very good. Somebody else? Any questions, tell me. If you, have, if you have questions, tell me now. Let me know. Esa pregunta, sabemos lo saber. Eh, Carmen said, I'm not sleeping. Good. Stephanie said, I'm not, I'm not sleeping at the moment. I'm in class. Very good. Eh, just remember, Anna Stephanie, I am not sleeping at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. I'm in class, yes. Yeah, somebody else? Questions, by the way, questions? This is the present continuous in negative. Are we okay? ¿Todo bien hasta el momento? ¿Hay preguntas? No. No, okay. Listen, these are the time expressions I use for the present continuous. Time expressions for the present continuous specifically. Time expressions for present continuous. For present present, right? The same. Which ones? We have look, look, listen. We have at the moment. At this moment, okay. Now, right now, listen, look, look, and this song. Those are some time expressions for present continuous. When do we use listen, for example? It's easy. For example, you can say, imagine that we have a short conversation, right? Tenemos una conversación corta. And you say, listen. Listen. Someone is knocking on the door. Listen. Someone is knocking on the door. Really? Let's see. Who is he? Right? Listen. That is the time expression, right? Listen. So it's at the moment, right? It's at the moment. Listen. Someone is knocking on, on the door. Really? Well, let's see who is this. Okay. And the same with look. Look. You say, look. Hey, okay, look. Mm. Man is filling the bank, for example. Right? So imagine that that is happening, right? Look, the man is still in the bank. Wow. Let's inform the police. Right? Look. Look. The man is, is still in the bank. Wow, let's inform the police. Okay, so this is what we use these expressions, right? Look and listen in context, and you use them with the present continuous. Okay, let's see some more examples. I can say, I am giving examples to you now, right? So that's what, what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Marvin. Right now, you know, I'm giving you more examples. Listen, I'm giving you more examples. Marvin, I'm giving you more examples. Now, okay? So that is happening now, right? I'm giving you more examples now. 
We have the time expressions for the present continuous. At the moment, at this moment, today, now, right now, listen, look, and this summer. Okay. Examples. I am giving examples to you now, right? Rolando is paying attention in class, but well, you know, different examples. Imagine that we are in a classroom. I can say Roger is paying attention in class, right? Roger is paying attention in class. Or I can say Ephigenia is paying attention in class, right? Delmi is not watching TV right now, right? I can say Delmi, sorry, Damaris is not watching TV right now. Or I can say Carlos is not watching TV right now, right? Why? Because they are paying attention in class, right? They are listening to the class. Okay. Very good. So those are examples with the present continuous. Any questions? This is the present continuous, guys. This is the present continuous. And don't forget these weeks. Use present continuous to talk about actions that are in progress or happening now. Is everything okay? Everything clear? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. all clear. Thank you. Now you're going to practice. You're going to practice. I will I will show you a photo. In the photo, you will see many people, right? Many people doing different actions, right? Those actions are happening at the moment at the moment. Look at the picture, Sean. Look at the picture, Sean. Write, listen in your notebooks, write at least five sentences about things people are doing at the moment. Let me give you some examples. This is the photo. As you can see, we have many people. We have Sam, we have Danny, Jason, Claire, Tom, Lucy, we have Helen, Dave, Jody, Eve, right? And they are doing different actions, right? In that photo, in that scenario, in that context. For example, what are they doing? Number one, Tom is singing a song, right? This is Tom. Tom is singing a song. Tom is singing a song, right? Lucy is not drinking soda. This is Lucy. Lucy is not drinking soda, right? She's doing another action. She's doing another action, okay? So what I want you to do, I need you to follow the example. Example given, the photo too. Look at the photo. All the people in there. And answer the question, what are they doing, okay? I need you to write five sentences in your notebooks about things that people are doing in this page, right? You can use affirmative and you can use negative. Affirmative, negative. All the examples, please, and write your own examples, okay? Is it clear what we have to do? Yeah, Virginia, it's okay, it's okay. No worries. I'm checking your message. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Preguntas acerca de lo que vamos a hacer? Lo enviamos aquí en el chat o en WhatsApp? If you want, you can send it in the chat. It's okay. Or, you know, I will listen to some of you, right, in, in class. But yeah, I will ask you guys, please, Send your examples in the chat, in the chat, please. And okay. if you want, if you want, right, if it is hard for you to share the, the examples in this chat, right, in the Zoom chat, you can send it in the WhatsApp group. Si se les hace difícil, verdad, probablemente a veces el, el chat acá, verdad, eh, nos, nos, nos dificulta, no podemos enviar por WhatsApp, no tengo problema, al grupo de WhatsApp. Pero las opciones están está bien. Vamos. 
please. Let's write your examples first. Write examples and then send examples in the chat, please. Ya estoy viendo que están enviando ejemplos. Excelente. Vamos a leer en un momento. Sigamos enviando, sigamos enviando. If you have any questions, let me know. Very good. I can see that you have sent different examples in the chat. Amazing. Okay. Let me read the examples that your classmates are sending in the chat, please. And I need you to look at the photo, right? Look at the photo and, you know, let's identify those actions, right? Those actions. Permitive and negative, right? So let me say, Helen is eating pizza. Yes, very good. And Stephanie, Sam is not dancing at the moment. Yeah, we can see Sam, right? Sam is over here. Sam is not dancing at the moment. Great, Stephanie. Well, Sam is not dancing at the moment. No, sorry. Dave. Dave and Judy are dancing. Yes, very good. Jan, Dave, sorry, and Judy are dancing. Yeah, here. Good. Jody and Dave are dancing now. Good, Jose. Amazing. And all that Dave is dancing. Good. Wait, I'm going to stop playing the mouse. No, I'm going to come home. Eve is eating pizza. Abner. Yes, pretty good. Sam and Danny are talking. Yeah. Yeah. Sam and Danny are talking. Okay. Uh, but we said Lucy is dancing now. Yes, Marvin. Abner, Dave is dancing now. Good. Glenda Abigail, Claire is talking. Yeah, Claire is talking. Good. Helen is dancing, Daniela. Exactly. She is eating, right? She is eating pigs, as someone said previously. And I know that Jason is speaking. Yeah, it could be because it's talking to Claire, right? Jason is speaking. Felix, Helen, and Eve are eating pizza. Yeah. Fernanda, Sam is having a drink. Hmm. Okay. Very good. What did I say? Dave and Judy are dancing. Dave, 
Dave and Judy are not dancing. Oh, but in this case, be careful. Be careful, Fabiola. Dave and Judy are dancing. Maybe if you want to use negative, you can say Dave and Judy are not. Uh, maybe singing, right? Singing. Singing. Okay, be careful. Yeah, Dave and Judy are dancing. Exactly. And Stephanie, Sam is drinking soda. Good. What you said, Jasmine is eating fish. Oh, I guess you're giving us another example, right? In your maybe in your context, right? It's okay. We're gonna say another example apart. But remember, if Roger Jasmine is eating eating fish. Very good. Jody is not eating. She is dancing. Good, Ana Maria. Lucy is dancing. Okay, Glenda. We can see Lucy, right? This is Lucy. Sam is drinking soda. Great, Marvin. Eve is eating pizza and talking. Great. So as you can see here with the example that Stephanie is giving rice, we, we, we have two different actions, right? Eve is eating pizza and talking. Yes. She is doing two activities or two actions at the same time, right? Eve is eating pizza and talking. Okay, Salema said Helen and Eve are talking, yes. Okay, Salema, Esmeralda, Helen and Eve are eating pizza, yeah. Ana Maria, Dave is jumping. Dave is jumping. Oh, okay, yeah, good be. All right, Dave is dancing or jumping. Pretty good. We like said Helen and Eva, and Eve, sorry, are eating. Helen and Eve are not eating. Oh, okay. Daniela is a hamburger. Are you hear Lucy is not eating pizza. Yeah, Daniela. Helen is not eating now. Good, Armin. Eve is speaking now. Yes, Armin, good. Claudia is not dancing. Oh, Tamaris, be careful. Claudia is not dancing. Don't say a dancing. Don't say a dancing. Okay, don't say a dancing, just dancing. Without the article, sin ese artículo, sin el artículo A. Eve is not dancing, thank you, Andrea. Very good, as you can see, we have many examples. I like it, Donny is not drinking this soda. Danny, I think, right, Danny. Tom is drinking soda, good. Jose, yeah. We can see that Tom is singing, right, not drinking, good. And we have Sam and Danny are drinking soda. Claire is not sinking. Great, Salema. Claire is not drinking. Sorry, it's not sinking. And the last ones, we have Glenda Dinona. She said Claire is smiling right now. Yeah, yeah. Or it could be Glenda Dinona. You can say Claire. Claire is laughing. Laughing right now. Claire is laughing right now. Danny is not drinking soda, yes. Marvin, Danny is dancing heavy metal, okay. <laughs> and the last one, they are enjoying. Okay, yeah. It's Linda, or you can say they are having fun. They're having fun. They are having fun right now, Linda. Very good. Well, this is the way guys, we use the pressing continuous as you can see. Those are some great examples based on the picture. You can see many people that are doing different actions at the moment, right? Do you have any questions about the pressing continuous? Is the topic good, clear? Some of you? Yes. Good. Yeah, teacher. Good. Lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Les voy a enviar por el grupo. Les voy a enviar otra imagen, otro escenario diferente con más personas, ¿verdad? Haciendo diferentes acciones. Es lo que practiquen, ¿verdad? 
practiquen, escriban sus oraciones, ¿verdad? Para que vayamos, ¿verdad? De esa situación discontinua. ¿Ok? Seamos afirmativo, negativo. ¿Verdad? Si es que les voy a otra imagen, otro contexto diferente, para que ustedes, ¿verdad? Escriban más oraciones. Cuando presen con ¿All right? No sé si hay preguntas. All right. Thank you. Yes. Tell me. Preguntas. ¿Todo bien? No. Okay. Incluso podemos hacer el ejercicio en su casa, ¿verdad? Nuestros familiares, ¿verdad? Vemos en cuenta nuestros familiares, veamos lo que están haciendo. Practiquemos. My mother is cooking lunch. Or my brother is doing the homework. My father is working, right? He's working now, etc. So you can do the exercise on your own, right? Your notebooks, right? Sentences using the present continuous about things that your family members, friends are doing at the moment, okay? I will send you the picture as soon as, you know, in a moment, right? Give me a second. I will send you the picture in a moment in the WhatsApp group so you can start writing your sentences in the present continuous, okay? Voy a enviar la imagen en un momento para que ustedes, ¿verdad? Practiquen y escriban más oraciones. Okay, así es que eso sería todo por ahora. Quisiera saber, ¿verdad? Si hay alguien más, algún comentario, alguna duda, etc. Podemos aclarar ahorita, ¿verdad? Me gusta que hagan preguntas. O sea, algo se aclara. Ah, no, pues. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Bueno. Thank you. It's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Solo una cosita más, ¿verdad? Sigamos trabajando. ¿verdad? Sigamos trabajando en okay. la sesión 4 y cualquier cosa que estamos en la web. ¿Eh? Ok. Thank you. Very good. And Thank time. you. See you okay. tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Stay safe and healthy. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.